closer. Hi. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Amira. This is Mama Folks' Soul Healing. All right, this is going to be your weekly reflection, Cancer, for this past week. We'll see what you experienced, what energies you um, went through, and what major lesson you were meant to learn. Interesting. Um, we're using the Chakra Wisdom Oracle deck and the Tarot of Enchanted Dreams. Okay. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Okay. Once we hit a thousand subscribers, I'll be giving away 10 free readings. So make sure that you're subscribed so that could potentially be you. That's too many. Can I just get one? For cancer. Thank you. Impasse. Um, okay. <laughs> you have impasse coming out here, Cancer coming out first. This is the sacral chakra. Okay, sacral, ch sacral chakra is about passion, all right? Our deep, deep emotions, the things that we are emotionally attached to that we need so that we feel safe, so that we feel secure and stable and like we're walking on even ground okay that's how strong the feelings are it's also a sexual energy but impasse is like i don't know this is like i'm i'm, I'm between two worlds i'm seeing like two of wands energy with that okay um and then you have victim at the bottom of the deck all right heart chakra but with this victim card, somebody's playing the victim, obviously. It's not as bad as it seems, or it's not as difficult as it seems, or something like that. <sighs> Interesting. Okay, yeah, see the Knight of Swords in the reverse. I feel like there's some kind of abuse here. That's what I was getting ready to say. Okay, let's see. King of Pentacles, okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, masculine energy here the king of pentacles speaks of success okay this is somebody who's very successful and it's because of their hard work it's because of their discipline it's because of their groundedness it's because of um their ability to make practical decisions all right this is somebody who is committed who's loyal who is trusted okay respected trustworthy the king of pentacles that's the person that you want to marry First card out coming out here. I mean, we have somebody here who is successful, all right, in their own right, in their own way, in some way, shape, or form. Somebody is successful. The star card, okay, Aquarian energy. There's definitely success here. There may even be fame or somebody on the, in the spotlight, okay, but the star card comes in after the tower, after the tower. The star card. This is unexpected help arriving. I mean, maybe it's this King of Pentacles that's coming in or came in for you this past week. Okay, unexpectedly. But this is like someone who's very generous as well. So there's some kind of generosity here. All right, purity, wish fulfillment. Okay, this is like what somebody prayed for, what somebody asked for. What's the problem? Seven of Wands reverse. Seven of Wands reverse is admitting defeat, taking a new approach. Hmm. Letting your guard down, unblocking love, unblocking this success, unblocking this opportunity. Okay. I feel like the opportunity is just sitting there waiting for someone like the, you know, it's like, okay, your seat is warm, your seat is ready, but, but, um, but what, but, but somebody's at an impasse. Somebody's in like this two of wands energy, like I said. Somebody's at an impasse, perhaps playing the victim. And I mean, that will definitely keep you at, at that place of, of an impasse. If you feel like you, you don't have a way out or you feel like you, you know, is the grass really greener? 
Should I leave? Should I stay? Do I want this? Am I passionate about it? But the Seven of Wands reverse is admitting defeat. It's letting your guard down. It's somebody, somebody was caught off guard here. All right. Somebody was caught off guard here by this opportunity or by this person. But this is seizing a new opportunity. It is. It's impossible to continue to be defensive. Seven of Wands reverse. Whether whether it was like I chose not to be or I can't anymore. <laughs> the Tower reverse. Wow. The Tower reverse is a delay. It's someone who's trying to delay the inevitable. There's a false sense of security here. We have the star card, King of Pentacles, sitting upright. And then the Seven of Wands and the Tower card in the reversal here. I feel like there's a huge opportunity for somebody to move forward in, in, you know, in a very successful way. But they're missing it because they're at an impasse. There's no passion in, in, in a situation that you're leaving behind or that you're being called to leave behind here. There's no passion. I feel like it's just out of um, obligation or repetition or something. That's what I want to say. The tower reverse. There's somebody who's attempting to delay the inevitable. It's a missed opportunity, honestly. What's at the bottom here? The king of wands. Interesting. So two masculine energies. King of Wands is somebody who's very successful as well. Extremely confident. Goes after what it is that they want. And the Nine of Cups reverse. Lack of wish fulfillment. Four of Pentacles reverse. Letting go of something that they've been holding on to. And there's the Queen of Swords reverse coming out again. <sighs> She's just trying to ruin our week again. Let's see what your lesson was here, Cancer. You have Scorpio. You have Aquarius. Okay. And Aries. opportunity here but I, it feels like it's like somebody's in limbo I feel like also somebody doesn't want to get their hands dirty I don't know what that means ten of pentacles reversed wow I wasn't expecting that <laughs> I wasn't expecting that I think similar to how somebody wasn't expecting something that happened this past week Ten of Pentacles reverse is a significant loss. It's a foundation that is not secure. It's something that's going nowhere. It's some. It's un, It's just a lack of success. Okay, lack of commitment. It's a, it's a significant loss. Like horrific. Like all of your money. Like all of your bank account. Like your entire business. Like your whole family torn apart. No loyalty. No trust. Like the Ten of Pentacles reverse is this false sense of security that somebody won't allow themselves out of. I feel like. There's a need to be practical here with the King of Pentacles. There was a need to make a practical decision. There was a need to focus on the future. There was a need to focus on the foundation. Like, like what's going to bring all this all together? What's going to make this solid? What's going to make this stable? I feel like somebody didn't do that here. Or somebody continues to be at an impasse and, and playing the victim. I don't know. Okay. Ten of Pentacles reverse is, is a loss, though. This is This is a foundation that's not solid. It's a significant loss. You know, I feel like somebody missed this huge opportunity for success. This was your lesson for success in whatever, in whatever way success means to you. All right. The Ten of Pentacles is long term stability and security. It's it's land. It's it's a, a, a business. It's 401. It's um, commitment. It's marriage. It's family. All right. It's longevity. But it's in the reversal. That was your lesson. I'm going to leave it there. All right. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next week.